the expanding role of the library. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Timothy Christ. He is president of the Board of Trustees for the Newark Public Library. Thanks so much for being with us. Well, thank you. Obviously, it's still a lending institution, but it's also a community gathering place. Talk to us a little bit about how you see the role of the Newark Public Library. It's so important that the library serve everybody in Newark. We're one of the civic spaces where anybody can come for free and get help. Uh, we're having a session for the homeless today where we bring lots of uh, 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 social service agencies to, to work with them. We put on uh, concerts and dances for the Puerto Rican community and the Brazilian community in Newark. Uh, we're doing lots of different things to engage all parts of the community. And with that, let's talk about some of the specifics. Uh, you have community events, as you mentioned, food events, dance events. You're also taking some of your primary documents, primary sources, putting them online, making them accessible. Talk to us about that project. We have been able to put thousands of documents online with support from a major grant from the Carnegie Corporation related to the great migration of African Americans to the North, to Newark, and to the Latino immigrant experience. We have one of the strongest collections in the state related to those, and we are taking photographs and diaries and letters and newspaper accounts, uh, digitizing them, putting them uh, online. They're online at npl.org now. And from there, we're building exhibits and lesson plans. We're taking this into the community, into the schools. And we think if we can engage the, uh, the children of Newark in stories about their own families, that will open up the future for them. And that's an important point because the idea is to make this information accessible and interesting and engaging for a new generation. That's right. In some ways it needs to be uh, presented in a way that uh, uh, people can make sense of it and gain easy access. If there are barriers, it's, it's, uh, it, it creates difficulties. But these are important stories. These are really important communities and it's important to celebrate their role in our community. And that is an ongoing project for you as a library, and as you mentioned, the goal is to create lesson plans and exhibits uh, related uh, to this process of digitizing all of these documents. But you also have a lecture series, and it's a, an annual lecture series, but it's related to an incredible donation to the library. Yes, by the novelist Philip Roth, uh, perhaps America's greatest living author, who grew up in Newark, who was inspired by the Newark Public Library and who has now decided to leave his entire personal library, some 4,000 volumes with mar uh, marginal notes and underlinings. It's, it's, uh, we'll get it at his death, and we hope he lives a long time. But with his support, we created the Philip Roth Lecture Series. And uh, last year, we attracted Zadie Smith, uh, one of the best novelists working now. And um, more recently, Robert Caro, the great biographer of Robert Moses and of Lyndon Johnson, and he spoke about Lyndon Johnson's use of political power to achieve the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, one of the most important pieces of legislation, and it would, have not, it would not have happened without Lyndon Johnson. He told a wonderful story. We had students there from Essex County College and other places. They were able to get their picture with him, meet him afterwards. We have the video of that lecture on our website, on, our, on YouTube. Uh, it was a great evening for Newark with an overflow crowd and, and a first-rate event. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. We've been talking with Timothy Christ. I'm Jill Horner.